bleaching his tanks. This is not what dump stations are for, okay, people? Yeah, I don't know what it is. We lost everything, and the inverter um, is dead. I'm not trained. It'd be like one bullet, like burning. <laughs> <laughs> So we filled up our water tank over at the fairgrounds. We've left, now we're out here at, it's called uh, it's the Conoco Station Town Pump on the north side of Kalispell. They have a free dump station. It's easy to get in here, even if you have a big rig. And um, it looks like maybe they even have fresh water here. So the deal is it's free if you make a purchase, or I think it says like maybe $2 up here to dump. So we just came out here, we're gonna empty the tanks now and uh, Patty ran in to get something to drink and then I'm gonna pull over when I get tanks dumped, fill up with gas, and we're gonna head on. Okay, so I just got interrupted as I was recording there because this gentleman came up and told me he's gonna be a while. He's bleaching his tanks. This is not what dump stations are for, okay, people? We don't really have a choice because we need to dump our tanks since we're headed to that harvest host. So we'll just sit here and wait. Where are we headed, Fred? We are headed to a harvest host, the Silver Knot, I believe is the name. I think that's right. I think it's kind of like a wedding venue. I believe there's also a little shop, but I've heard and seen from the pictures, the views are gorgeous. So the lady was nice enough to say we could come this evening and uh, we're gonna spend the night here. And look what we get to see as we're driving in. Snow cap mountain. We made it. We're all set up here at the Silver Knot, and I don't know if you can see back here. Those are snow cap mountains that we're looking at. This is crazy crazy gorgeous so I was talking to her neighbor when we arrived a very nice gentleman helped us get set up here and right behind me I'm gonna spin around not make anybody she's actually putting in a little campground so uh, eventually I guess she'll still be part of harvest host but she's actually gonna have a campground as well so you can get like a discount he said maybe for the first night if you're a harvest host member and then Back behind is her buildings where she does the wedding receptions and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, a couple other Harvest Host members here tonight. There's one there and there's one behind the building. And, um, but we took this end site and I did it mainly because we're right against this fence line. So we have some privacy. And again, we just have an amazing view um, looking at these mountains and pine trees. So. This is why we love Harvest Host. Again, Harvest Host isn't really camping as much as it's an overnight experience. And so whether it's a winery, a brewery, a museum, a wedding venue, you just never know. And some of our favorites are actually the farms and the farm markets. So if you haven't checked out Harvest Host, there's gonna be a link down below. You can get a discount on your yearly membership if you use ours and we get a little kickback as well from Harvest Host, which helps support our channel. So it's a win-win all the way around. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy this view.
It's like pillow talk. <laughs> We're not even on the right side of our bed. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. I was we're, looking at the sunset. So, Patty was watching the sunset. We can hear what oh sounds goodness. almost like coyotes. Maybe? I'm not sure. It's like, ah, ah. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It might be Sheldon Cooper. It could be. <laughs> that's what it sounds yeah. like to me. And we're listening, aren't we, buddy? He's a good listener. He wasn't barking at all. So, this is like, had been, this has been an amazing evening here. At this harvest it's host. just um so beautiful I'm oh going, my gosh the sunset has just been i mean you got this gorgeous crazy, sunset crazy, to the crazy. west yeah. you've got these amazing mountains out here to the east yes. and i think it's going to be super dark out here and starry starry night probably. i would say quiet but these animals are and we're not. listening to these animals every so often you hear a gunshot yeah. so i don't know if it was fox or some kind of bird or I keep telling Patty, no. you don't get this at a KOA. <laughs> no. You don't get these views. You, you don't, don't get, get this experience. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. You know, I'm guessing maybe Harvest Toast isn't for everybody. Because, we, you know, like we didn't have electricity when we got here at 4 o'clock. By, by what? By 6 o'clock. It was hot. It was 91 degrees in yeah. the damper. And I didn't ask if we could run our generator. I hate running our generator, to be honest. You know, I mean, it just, I mean, I'd do it if I had to, but. But we just kind of waited it out, and now it's we're gonna have to close up windows before long because it's gonna be chilly in here. Don't rush it, man. I'm enjoying the cool temperature. Well, I'm just saying, though. So, <laughs> so you know, there's some people they want to go to an RV park, and that's okay. Again, I'm, you know, that's the one thing I try never to do is judge because, you know, it's like campers. You know, some uh -huh. people like tents, some people like pop ups, some people like 40 foot class A motorhomes, right. and that's okay. And same way with the camping experience, mm -hmm. some people prefer, you know plug-in 30 well, amp no, full just like here you could have well she did she had, yeah the other two people are here tonight um one has 50 amp and the other one i think has 30 amp. yeah um we, I, we didn't even ask because uh, honestly i just most harvest hosts that's not an option yeah. so mm -hmm. i don't even ask yeah but. it's a nice location this is a really nice place yeah i'm loving the trailer it, I, it's very no nice regrets. No, no regrets no regrets at all and i would like to add one more thing <laughs> Montana beef is amazing. Like, is that what we had for dinner? Yeah. Was yes. It the, okay. So, I don't know, tender, juicy. So, I keep going to Albertsons, <laughs> and they feature a Montana ranch's beef. Yeah. I, I, I need to look and see what the name is. But we've had now, what, three different steaks. Yeah, three different meals mm -hmm, with it. It is so flavorful. Not that Indiana beef is not good. <laughs> But there's something about the Montana beef out here that's, I don't know. It's what they eat, I guess. Yeah, that's what's for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Slept great here last night at this harvest host. So, woke up this morning at 4.30, came out, turned the GoPro on, did a sunrise. My sunset last night. I don't know what happened. The GoPro shut off before sunset. So, we got some nice cloud movement. But that was about it. And, um, but the sunrise came out good. Uh, made coffee this morning, fine. Decided to have a breakfast sandwich, was warming it up in the microwave. And just as it was about done, we lost everything. And the inverter um, is dead. So can't figure it out. I've called Princess Craft. Kevin's going to try to find out. I feel like there must be an inline fuse somewhere. But I can't find it. So batteries are fully charged. So that wasn't an issue. And I have used the microwave on this trip with the inverter. So I know it's not an issue with that. Um, I just think something has tripped. And so we'll figure it out. So I've come out. I'm going to go look again. But I did not see any fuses in here. But, you know, let's not get too excited. So... Kevin from Princess Craft called me back, and we think this is the culprit. Big old fuse in line. I would have never guessed to look here. This is the side of, this is Patty's side of the better, the driver's side of the trailer. So I just need to remove that, and then we're going to go ahead. I think a auto parts store will have one. And this is the culprit. You can see it's blown. So not really sure why we blew this. All I can figure out is the coffee pot was plugged in, but it was done making coffee and i'm not really sure and we were microwaving so i guess we just need to make sure everything is shut off one thing at a time yeah so yeah 
because I know I used the microwave the other day without issue. So, all right, used it, yeah. off to an auto parts store. here to this Brett's RV and Marine and they say they have one in stock they're holding it for me so let's see hopefully it's the right one and I spy a tab 400 yes we still love them when we look for them Ooh, there's a base camp too it was not the right fuse wah, wah, wah. so now we're gonna go try Napa Auto Parts Napa Napa know-how here we go. Well, maybe. Okay. <laughs> the lady felt bad that we ran uh, over here, but you know she didn't know it. I mean, it looked like it, but but it was not long enough to fit the screws. Yeah. So try Napa. I think there's probably an O'Reilly's. We'll, we'll just just all of them today. Yeah. Just gonna hit them all. We're definitely gonna stock up on extra fuses. Yeah. All right. We'll try Napa next. I don't know. And I just realized this is bad because not only is it the inverter, it also charges our lithium batteries. So, I mean, we're okay as long as we're getting sun, but this could be a problem. Good news, bad news. Bad news, they don't have one here. They have another store in town who has one and they're holding it for us. So, and it appears to be the right one this time. So we're gonna drive over there. So Patty bought a new purse today. We were back at Murdoch's. I think we've been to three Murdoch's. <laughs> I love that story. Yeah, it's again, it's really similar to Tractor it's Supply maybe or a step up. yeah, bigger and okay. uh, yeah. You know that. But I I thought it was a really cool purse. But then Patty showed me the key feature of this purse. Yeah. The things you learn after twenty nine years of marriage. She has a place in her purse Put now for her weapon her sidearm yeah. so yeah montana so watch out. yeah montana only in montana right kind of like texas with, i'd be like barney fine i wonder if aunt priscilla <laughs> needs one of these that's what i she probably knows. or maybe she already has one and we just don't, don't know, know. Yeah. i bet she's been trained you know yeah so, i'm not trained I'd be like one bullet like barney <laughs> <laughs> yeah we wouldn't let you put the bullet in you'd have yeah. to carry it separately to carry it. There, there's a pouch on the inside where you can put your bullet yeah yeah, see, I can put my bullet in here. My one bullet can go inside. <laughs> there you go. Patty Fife. Patty Fife, look out. Nip it in the bud. Nip it in the bud. Looks good, though. I think it's cute. I like it. So we're down in Stevensville, Montana. We didn't make it too far because of the whole uh, fuse thing. We're at a Harvest Host second night in a row. Um, we're here at the Wildwood Brewery. They have a pizza oven. So I'm going up to get some beer and pizza and that's gonna be dinner. They also said it was okay to run the generator for a little while. So we, we would have survived, but we decided to go ahead and cool it off. So let's go see what we can find. And she let me bring a sampler back. We have pizza on order, but we have basically five different beers. And then she made a special one for Patty. They do mixing here. So this is their Ambitious Blonde, this one here, mixed with lemonade. So I'll let you try it. She thought you would like it. You're not gonna like it. No, you like it? <laughs> I do. So it's what's really it? good. It's um, kind of like, uh, almost tastes like the Amber Rock I have. 
Wow, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. That is pretty good. I mean, apricot blonde. Apricot blonde. Yeah. So it's basically this one with lemonade. Now, what's the dip? Let me see if I can taste the difference. Okay. Oh, yeah, the lemonade makes that better. All right. So. Bodacious Bach. Bach. And then. Mystical Stout. Yippee! IPA. And there's something I can't read. Uh, and that one looks like it's wiped off, so. Yeah, it looks dark. Like that, maybe All right. you like me. All right, so we'll go ahead and sample these. I gotta go back down in a few minutes here and get our pizza. So the joys of RVing, we had the fuse on the inverter blow today. And Hi. now we're trying to run our AC off of our Predator 3500. And it's not going so and well. And it's not going so well. It keeps overloading and I don't know why because this is a 13.5 AC and that predator should easily handle it so i don't know what's going on um i don't know whether i'm disappointed with the generator i've never been disappointed with that generator they don't, buddy. or they don't if i'm disappointed with the ac so i don't know what you could be disappointed with i don't know because <laughs> i'm not sure what the issue because we've never had an issue with the generator though so oh. So, okay, we're going to do a live test here. Patty's going to go ahead and switch it over. There's the compressor. And I hear, you know, I hear the generator rev up. And it's picking up cool. How long? And it had been running for a while, right? Because you went up and walked up. Yeah, it was running fine. And then it ran, when I came back, it ran out of gas. Because we had it running before you even went to get the... Here. Yeah, so that's weird. But then when I filled it up with gas, then we kept overloading. So I don't know. Right now, it seems. And we have nothing on. The refrigerator's on propane. Yep. The water heater's not on. This that's running on a battery pack. Yeah. And everything else, lights, uh, water pump, our battery. battery. That's battery. That's 12 volts. So. And there's nothing else running. No. It's weird. So hmm. I guess we'll just wait and see. It's testing our patience. Such is the life of RVing, right? <laughs> yeah, because today was not what I expected today to be. No, it wasn't a bad day. It no, was just, just you have these little places things. say they have stuff in stock, and then and you get don't. there and they don't. But thank you to the lady at Napa in Missoula. She didn't have it, but her other Napa store in town had it, and she, she called and got it for me. And well, you know, we, just trying to find a but backup. we were trying to find a backup because we're worried. And forget that. Because the problem is if that inverter fuse pops that's our battery charger if we're plugged in so it sounds like it's revving up more out there there it went there it went again yep that's gone. it <laughs> what was that like a minute two minutes i don't know Ugh. oh well Frustration, so good news is it's going to cool off tonight we shouldn't even mess with it We see a Murdoch sign. It's like the vehicle just stops. This is what, number four? Let's see. Kalispell, Whitefish, or something like that. Oh, did, wasn't there two in Kalispell? Oh, this is number five. <laughs> Patty likes the, uh, the clearance racks. You never go wrong with a clearance rack, right, Patty? Right. Everywhere is clearance. Plus, they're puppy friendly. So. They are. What did you do on your summer vacation? I stopped at every Murdoch in Montana and Idaho. Finally made it. Made it about 4:30 in the afternoon. We're over in Rigby, Idaho, at this Jefferson Lake 
recreation area. We actually have a lakefront site for two nights. You can see there's there's one, and then this neighbor's clear over here. So not bad. There are uh, concrete pads, concrete on for the picnic table, big fire pit, water and electric, $25 a night. So not too bad. And uh, there's a Sinclair about a mile away, $5 to dump. So not a, not a bad deal. We already dumped on the way in to make sure we have empty tanks. And now we're good for a couple nights. Patty's in sweeping the trailer. And then I think we're gonna head down to Idaho Falls. We're gonna pick up some more groceries. It seems like we always are needing groceries. Not a lot, just a couple items. And then we're finally gonna make it to a Dutch Bros. So we don't have those in the Mid East or Midwest. And uh, I don't know why, we like them. They're something different, so. All right, got to go check on Patty. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. Patty's over here on a uh, work call, getting ready for the new school year. And I'm playing Mr. Mom doing laundry. And this is that portable washing machine that we did a review on. And I can link that video for you if you haven't seen it. But um, I know a lot of people thought this is probably a joke, but it's not. This washing machine gets amazing reviews on Amazon. People swear by it. And honestly, it works great if it's right here in our shower. You can hear how quiet it is. And uh, it's currently in wash mode. And then when you get done with the wash mode, you bring it over here to spin it out. Um, and the clothes come out really dry. We don't have a dryer per se, but I have a drying rack. We're just gonna set them out and let them dry today. And now the laundry's done, and this is our drying solution. They actually sell a portable dryer. Um, you can check out, I'm gonna link a video at the end here to uh, my friend William and Jessica over at Camper Life. They did a video on the washing machine, but also the portable dryer. So you can check that out. We probably will end up getting the portable dryer before we go to Alaska next year. But for this trip, this is gonna work just fine. And now that the laundry's done, it's time to make some breakfast, some bacon and eggs. Here at uh, Jefferson Lake, campground they actually have this nice uh, walking bike path that goes all the way around the lake um, I'm not sure how far it is although I see a three-quarter mile marker up here so I'm guessing it's a good mile around if not maybe more they also have uh, pit toilets and um, just a really nice little campground Again, all the sites have this concrete to park on. They have really nice picnic tables on concrete and really big fire pits with grill grates. Not a bad deal, Patty, for 25 bucks. Not bad at all. Not to have electricity and water. Right.